The much-anticipated D23 was last night for Marvel's panel. At least their panel specifically talking about their upcoming movies and TV shows. And the uh, big thing to take away uh, is Marvel and Kevin Feige are doing things different. Welcome to the Multiverse, everybody. Jimmy here. Today, we're going to cover everything they announced at D23. Not only everything they announced, but everything they didn't announce, which... Like I said, things are different, and Kevin Feige talked about that. He said in 2018 through 2020, they were basically, when they were under other leadership, they were throwing stuff out that wasn't even close to being ready, which is why we saw things like Ironheart and Fantastic Four, and we still don't have Ironheart, and we don't get Fantastic Four until next year. Well, this year, they played it much closer to the cuff. It was... Very calculated, and I'm actually glad, because what it's doing is giving us tangible things that are actually coming, and it's not setting us up for stuff and expectations that are three, four, five years down the road. So we're going to go over everything. You let me know what stood out to you the most. It really wasn't a lot. There was only one trailer, Agatha all along. There was that one trailer, and there was a couple small clips, but other than that... They didn't show a lot. They had a lot of the cast come out for the different shows and TV series or the different movies, but they really kept it, they kept it close. You'll understand as we go. So drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, uh, and here we go. We'll start off with Captain America because that's what they did, Brave New World. Probably the biggest thing of the presentation was the quick clip that Kevin Feige put together on his iPad of Red Hulk. And if you look at Red Hulk, he definitely looks more... Uh, like the Edward Norton universe type hulkish guy. Much more. There's just, there's a lot more going on there. I mean, there's a lot more, uh, it, it's just more muscular. I, I'm really, really excited to see where they go with this Red Hulk. And I'm hoping uh, that it's not a one and done. I'm hoping that the Hulk doesn't uh, take him out or Captain America doesn't take him out. I want him to be part of Secret Wars if that's possible. But then again, I'm selfish and uh, I want everybody to be in Secret Wars. The other big thing that they did confirm is that Adamantium is in the MCU. It is in uh, the Sacred Timeline 616 and is being harvested from the Celestial that is sitting in the ocean, which of course sets us up for Wolverine and other things moving forward. So now you not only have Adamantium that is confirmed in there, you also have the tried and true Vibranium. So what if somebody puts them together? Then we move on to Fantastic Four. No new trailer, no new footage. We got the cast, but they were on a video call, which it looks like they were literally on set. If you look at the, the pictures, it looks like the lighting, the settings, everything had them on set. Now, some of them were in regular clothes, but Johnny Storm was rocking the retro Fantastic Four suit. Is this them just kind of giving us misdirection and uh, making us think this is going to be an actual unofficial uh, first reveal of a suit in the movie? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. It's cool. Now, I promise you, this is not the suit they will end up in because that's how Marvel does things. They, uh, they level up the suits. So we're going back. First steps. We're seeing it from the very beginning. So this could very well be uh, the first version of of the Fantastic Four suits in the 1960s. Then we get to Ironheart, which I made a video the other day saying I was not excited for this. And part of that reason is exactly what we talked about at the beginning of the video. Because of the expectations that are set up and you get excited for things and then they don't happen. Now, Ryan Coogler came on uh, and talked about Ironheart and uh, gave us a little bit of, of his mindset of it. And I want this to be good. And I know it's super important for the bigger connective tissue of the MCU. And uh, I just, I don't know. I'm not sold on it. I'm not excited about it. It's happening. It's coming. It's a Disney Plus series. How it's going to uh, work its way into everything else, I don't know. Because we're getting towards the, the middle to starting to go into the grand finale the next three, three and a half years here. And we've only seen her once. And it really wasn't that great of a role, if you ask me. Black Panther 2... I wasn't wowed by Ironheart. I thought she did good. I just don't have this thought process that I'm kind of invested and want to know what's going on. Maybe it's because they really, really pushed that she's the next Iron Man. And now we have Iron Man variants that are probably coming back. And we have the literal Iron Man himself playing Doctor Doom. 
So I don't know. I'm going to be cautiously optimistic about Iron Man. Probably the other big news that they popped out, and they did give us a lot about this. They didn't give us, we didn't get a trailer. We didn't get any footage, which is kind of weird. But then again, this is the new Marvel, and this is how they're doing things. Daredevil Born Again, one of my most anticipated Disney Plus series. Yes, John Berthenall is going to reprise his role as Punisher. You know he's going to knock it out of the park. And uh, they also confirmed that season two is already happening. You know how confident a, a, a production crew is and a publishing company is when they confirm season two when you haven't seen season one yet. And all they say is that this, be, this is being pulled from uh, how things were with the Netflix series, which is absolutely what we want. We got confirmation of White Tiger. We saw Muse. We saw that they are going to feature the black and red suit or red and black suit, which has me excited. I want that one. But there was other suits too. There was a row of Daredevil helmets with different colorways, which is going to be fun. If he's rocking all kinds of different suits throughout this series... I think everybody's going to be happy because everybody has a different favorite color suit. So maybe they'll knock them all out of the park. Of course, Kingpin was there as well. It's going to be a good time. It really, really is. We'll have to see how Daredevil actually uh, connects into Spider-Man 4, which we don't really know anything about, but we know he's going to be in there. I hope the Punisher is in there too. If we do get any type of street level Spider-Man 4, which we got nothing for Spider-Man, and so just, uh, I mean, nothing for live-action Spider-Man, that is, so I wasn't really expecting anything, but I figured I'd tell you. Then we got our Agatha All Along trailer. I put this one in the same boat as I do Ironheart. I just wonder uh, why we're getting it, and maybe the TV series will just uh, knock my socks off, and I'll understand, and I'll say, okay, they connected it very well with what we're doing moving forward, because... I agree with people. If there's not Scarlet Witch just vibes in this movie at all, I don't feel like people are going to want to watch it. I really don't. Agatha was funny. She was a meme. She did great in WandaVision. But to follow her on her own course and her own path, I don't know. So I'm hoping there's a bigger, uh, I guess you could say, uh, thought process behind this. And there's a bigger purpose for Agatha all along. I'm just not really sold on it yet. So we'll have to wait and see, but they are throwing trailers out there left and right for it. We are gearing up for it because it's coming really, really soon. So you give me your thoughts. What do you think about Agatha? We got no other trailers. We got nothing for the Thunderbolts. Once again, we didn't get anything for Daredevil, which was a little disappointing. And here's the big one. We got nothing for Wonder Man. Nothing, not a peep. I don't think there was anything mentioned at all. So, uh, I mean, Marvel's true to their word. This is how they're going to do things moving forward. So I'm assuming that Wonder Man is nowhere near being uh, ready to be uh, even talked about. And of course, we didn't get anything about Blade, which eh, that's a sensitive subject right now for a lot of people, including Marvel. So we'll cover that on a different day. So there you go. D23 was great. Huge crowd. Lots of fun things they talked about. But once again, kept it kind of reserved, which... I think I may, I may be okay with. You guys let me know what you think, and I'll see you soon.